Welcome to my presentation about impact assessment at Western Sydney University. Firstly, I acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which we meet today and pay my respects to elders past and present. At Western, we reward the pursuit of impactful research through events such as the annual Research Impact Competition and the Future Makers publication, which showcases stories of impact and engagement from across the university. Through the impact strategy, we aim to foster a strong culture of impact. Sharing and evaluating our impact narratives is a key part of this. So the university has introduced an annual impact in and engagement assessment, which will continue to strengthen our capability in the absence of a national evaluation exercise. And that's what I'm presenting about today. But first, very quickly, I mentioned the absence of a national evaluation exercise. So a little bit of context for you on what's been happening at that level. The ARC ran the first engagement and impact assessment, EIA, in 2018, in which assessment panels rated case studies submitted by Australian universities in each field of research for engagement, impact and approach to impact. The EI assessment was scheduled to run again in 2024, but was discontinued in late 2023. The ARC is now considering research evaluation in the context of the recent Australian Universities Accord and are looking to create a reporting framework that is less of a burden for the university sector. In the 2018 ARC EIA, Western Sydney University outperformed the sector in both impact and approaches to impact, although the ratings for engagement were not as strong. The reason I've shared these results is to set the scene. You could say there's an institutional imperative to build upon the successful 2018 results and to ensure that we remain focused on capability and readiness for any future national evaluation initiatives. So in 2023, the university commenced an annual assessment adopted from the ARC case methodology. We plan to continue this on an annual basis, whereby over a two year cycle, case studies from all FORs will be assessed by panels of internal and external assessors. In our research impact strategy and for the assessment process, we use the definitions of research impact and research engagement developed by the ARC in 2018. The process of developing and reviewing case studies is beneficial in terms of embedding the impact culture at Western. We want to elevate the pursuit of an impact pathway through partnerships and engagement, as well as demonstrate the process of impact evidencing and evaluation. Researchers use the case study template that we developed, which is based on the ARC submission format. We provide support, including a collaborative workshop and feedback rounds to develop the narrative of impact and engagement. Our approach is pretty low tech. As you can see, here's the template that we provide. We also provide panel assessors with guidance on terminology and a template for them to provide feedback and score for an overall rating. Each case study is then reviewed by a group of uh, three different assessors, Western staff and external industry contacts. Assessors independently score out of 10 each for impact and engagement for an overall maximum possible score of 20. Assessors are prompted to provide constructive feedback on each aspect. The average of the three assessor scores in impact and engagement produce an overall score and rating of high, medium or low for the case study. An overall rating of high indicates that assessors believe the case study demonstrates a significant contribution beyond academia, with a clear link between the associated research, knowledge sharing and engagement activities, and evidence for impact. The target is for 60% of the cases assessed in 2023-24 to have high impact. The 2023 assessment included nine case studies across eight fields of research. These are at the top of the slide. You can see that eight out of the nine were rated as high overall, meaning we are on track to achieving the target result. This year, there are 14 case studies under development. Here are some ex excerpts from the assessor feedback. You can see that the case study authors are receiving constructive comments as well as the rating, which we feel is very important to creating a culture of impact literacy. 
In 2023, we did not start the process until mid-year, so we decided that for 2024, participation planning would commence in February to maximise the time available for case study development. Even so, it took much longer than anticipated to identify willing case study authors, so we want to continue to look at how we can streamline that process. Thank you very much.